Hello folks, today I'm going to do a little overview of the Harbor Freight Atlas Chainsaw. This one I just got, Santa Claus brought it to me for Christmas, so I have it sitting here. I'm going to kind of go over it and let you know what you get whenever you purchase one. Okay, there it is. Uh, there's the box. Kind of hold it on there a little bit so you can, if you want to read what that says, you can kind of go over it. This is what's on the side of the one side of the box. And whenever you get it, of course you get the, the chainsaw. You get the bar sheath right here. They give you a small bottle of chain oil which only fills the tank up about halfway. Now, you do not get a battery with this, so you have to purchase a separate battery. Now, this is the 40 volt and 80 volt large battery. This one runs $110. You don't have to get this. You can get just a 40 volt, which is $60. You have to buy the charger, which is $30. And the saw itself was, this is the 16 inch, the saw itself was 120. Now, if you go to Harbor Freight and you buy the saw, the battery, and the charger, you get $30 off. So basically, you get the charger for free. But this package here was $260. So if you would get the cheaper battery for 40 bucks you would save yourself about $70 so you could get the package for under $200 if you bought the small 40 volt battery uh, now here is the this is the bar chain reservoir here you can see this is translucent right here is my oil level you can see the oil level right there so you can look in and see which is pretty nice uh, the chain comes on it in the instructions they kind of tell you to, the chain is not on it to soak the chain then put it on but when it came this chain was already on you also get your instruction manual here for it also now I did I put this saw on the scale and I have this echo which is a CS310 with a 16 inch bar on it. Now I weighed both of these saws. The Echo weighs 11.8 pounds with full tank of gas, full oil reservoir. The Atlas with the battery in it weighs 11.2 pounds. Now that was just on like this typical bathroom scale here that I robbed out of the bathroom. So, I'm not saying they are dead accurate, but that just gives you an idea. 11.8, 11.2. Here's a view from the opposite side. Uh, chain tensioning right here. They do not give you a wrench to loosen these bolts to tension your chain, but it's standard type. Loosen the, uh, loosen the two bolts. Then you got a slot head screw right here to turn for your adjustment and then tighten them back up. Uh, it also has the typical chain brake on most gas chainsaws. So we'll get it loaded up here. I'm going to head up in the woods and just find a tree that I can set up and show you guys the sound level and basically how it cuts. See you in a little bit. Okay, we got the saw up in the woods here. So we're going to try it out. This tree is only about six to eight inches uh, in diameter. I'm just going to run it through to kind of show you how it works. Now keep in mind, I told you that I weighed this saw. This 40, 80 volt battery is bigger than the 40 volt battery. So you're, you may lose a pound or so if you get the smaller battery. And it says with the 40 volt battery, this saw is supposed to do 180 cuts. Now I don't know if that's, you know, six inch eight inch trees or what have you but uh let's see what it does i 
tell you what, you just saw me buzz through that uh, that wood there. That's pretty impressive. This saw, I know it's a brand new sharp blade, but I have some brand new sharp chains on my other saws. And this saw definitely cut faster than my gas chain saws, you know, going through that type of lumber and that thickness and diameter. So I'm pretty impressed with this saw. I'll just be curious to see how long the battery lasts and how many cuts. So if I think of it, maybe I'll do an update here when it gets warmer out in the summertime and I'm actually cutting some wood. Remember to like and subscribe and get outside and cut some wood.